Hello all, in this video I'll show you how to run fact analysis. First let me import the data. So here I have uh, four constructs. One, first one is job satisfaction which is measured using three item and then family satisfaction which is measured using three item and then life satisfaction is measured using five item LS1 to LS5 and then work family balance was measured using another five items that is starting from work family balance 1 to work family balance 5. Now what you do is you go to analysis and then select factor analysis, select factor. So here you just include the items. Before that you just select the entire set of items by pressing control button in your keyboard and then pressing the left click button. You will be able to select everything here. Um, now you can also specify the number of factors to be extracted. I would like to extract four factors. So here you can also save the factor score that is possible. And then I would like to use Pro Max rotation. Now you click execute dialog. You will be able to get the output on the right hand side window. So here I have the unrotated factor solution and then the chi-square test value and then the pro max rotation solution. Um, so basically if you look at this rotated solution, job satisfaction is loaded on the fourth factor, family satisfaction is loaded on the third factor and then life satisfaction is loaded on the second factor and then work family balance is loaded on the first factor. This is how I'm getting the uh, component structure. And here you have the factor correlations also among the factors uh, what would be the correlation so that can be seen here. Um, if you want to get the scree plot you can also select the scree plot. So for example uh, for Pro Max. So here you have this option called scree plot, just select it and then execute the dialog box. So here you will be able to get the scree plot. So here wherever you see sharp bend after, uh, I mean uh, just below the eigenvalue level of 1, up to that level you can, I mean up to those many factors you can select it. So approximately here factor 1, 2, 3, 4 factors I can consider. So that's what uh, this particular scree plot is saying uh, as far as this particular analysis is concerned. This is a way how you can run the factor analysis using blue sky statistics. If you need some other output, you can also do it. For example, you can go to this model evaluation. Here uh, you have certain fit measures, AAC, BAC can be computed. Similarly, uh, if you go to this uh, model tuning, here you have uh, cross validation techniques that can be done and then uh, for example in the model valuation let me select um, summarize model statistics. So here I will be able to get the model level statistics for this particular analysis. So number of factors 4 total variance is uh, 0.74 and then the corresponding statistics value p value those things only I'm getting here. Uh, method uh, used here was uh, MLE that is maximum likelihood estimation. This is the way how you can also uh, get certain values here. For more details you can also explore uh, this particular option. If you want to do this uh, AAC value for this model you can select the AAC but AAC is not available for this factor analysis because it says that profit regression, logistic regression, linear model, there only we can get this. Uh, if you want to compare two different models, again model comparison is not possible here. So this is a way how you can also make use of the rest of the uh, uh, options available here. Um, for example, parameter estimates, let me check this. So here parameter level statistics for model is available here and for each and every items the unique values and then the factor loadings are uh, uh, given here that's it Th that is what I'm getting uh, after selecting this parameter estimates. So this is how you can also do the factor analysis using blue sky statistics. Thanks for watching this video.